Hey guys, Brita here. Welcome back to Brew Pub Simulator. Here we are for the start of a brand new sandbox mode. A brand new playthrough. Um, I've already got an idea for the pub name. Dragon. Oh, if I can spell properly. Dragon's Breath Tavern. Nice. Um, I'm going to go... What sort of ribbon? I don't know. I like that one. That one's pretty good. Let's go... Black with white text we do, do it all do it all capitals I don't know um, now I want to keep everything the same for all of our logos and stuff so do something like that that's not too bad for the background and then we want to look at something sort of medieval which I wasn't sure if we go with that or the beer or the axes. I mean, I know it's not really a dragon, but... Uh, I don't know. Let's go the axes. So, Dragon's Breath Tavern, the axes. Uh, we've got the bottom right ribbon, the background is that one, and then text. And then I want to keep everything with the same logo. Um, same logo, same background, the same ribbon, and just change the names and the colours of things as we need. Alright, there we go. So we come inside, you can see there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, a lot of beer mugs that I probably don't really want. I want to grab that one. No, I want to grab that. I don't want this one. Can I just throw it straight in the bin? I don't think I can sell it. Um, same as this one, can we, oh yeah, sell it, there we go, want to sell, why can't we sell, uh, napkin holder, hand statue, the hell is that, not even sure what that is, or is that a, is that a wine, APA, that's like a, it's got no, um, amount on it, which is weird, that, is that like a permanent, permanent thing? Right, get rid of these. Uh, I want to just get rid of everything because I want to sort of just do our own little design. Uh, inventory. Yeah, let's get rid of all this stuff. We can go in the inventory. We'll sell these guys. So we want it to look um, medieval style. So all this stuff we probably won't have as part of the the tavern. Okay, now we're getting to sell things. Uh, can we sell that side? I don't think so. Alright, done. Now we need to look at um, material changer. We've got everything already. Golden wall. Yeah, it's probably not, not good at all. Uh, bar desk, black. We obviously need um, like a wooden style wall. How's that for a wall? That's meant to be a floor, but I don't know how that's going to look all across the board, obviously. Uh, TV, don't get that in a tavern, but uh, I don't know about that. Not really sure. Let's look at the flooring. So I want something light for the floor. So we can sort of brighten the place up a little bit. It's meant to be dark, with it being a tavern, but um Where is There's the bricks on the wall, but there's the old look at there it is brick wall three. Uh looking at the supports, there we go. Right, that not even clicking on the right thing. Like that, those supports. Now we want to go back and try and find... Gets that in it. Not sure how I feel about that wall. What about this one? That probably looks a lot better, to be honest. Gotta stop clicking on those windows.
How's that? Yeah, that's better, I think. Um, and then we'll need to look at... Uh, what that for the window. Do we go? Dude, that looks terrible. We need just like a normal white. Not a metal wall, not concrete, just white wall smooth. We have white windows. It sort of brightens the place up, but then it looks sort of out of character. That probably looks a lot better. I think that's pretty good. Alright, sell some more of this stuff. Don't really need to stress too much about um, design just yet, but uh, they're all those beer mugs. Let me grab these guys because I want to get rid of these ones. You can see we've still got some beer out the back. American Pale Ale, American Black Ale. i uh, got some of these. Is that fermenting? I don't know if it's fermenting or not. Doesn't say that it is. Uh, we can't put it in our inventory, so... If I go pour here, then just yeah, throw it all over the ground. Still won't even let me pick it up. That'll do. I'll just get rid of it. Alright, inventory. We need some shelving and stuff out here, but let's... Uh, firstly look at um, our beer mugs. I'm going to grab ten of those. Uh, let's look at our furniture, so our tables. So the old school table, sort of this one, but I like the dark brown better. Uh, let's go five of you, I think. We need some chairs. I don't mind either of these two. Maybe the grey? Nah, so we're going to need 20 of those. And that's, I know it's going to be a lot of money, but... Can we talk? No, we can't talk to him. It's alright. Alright, so we need our beer mugs put away. We need our tables set up. I think I'm going to put like the pool and all that sort of stuff out the back. Alright, we've got access to employees and stuff straight away. So pretty much, there's no... Um, storyline or anything for this at the moment, so we pretty much just do whatever we want to do. I want to try and go in the center of that window. Center of that window. Do you want to go in this? I don't know if we can go in the center of that one. It's going to be hard to sort of line these guys up, isn't it? I think we had struggled with that last time. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, okay, alright, so we'll start here. Some chairs. Into these. A medieval tavern like? No, but it's sort of more modern medieval, I suppose. So a gap of three. One, two, three. Then we can put the table. Uh, in there, then chairs. That's one, two, three. I think that's perfect, actually. No way that one's going to fit there, so we're going to have to move that table. Let's get one, two, three. Wish the chair would stay the same way that we already had it facing. I don't think we're going to fit another one in there. Now, I wonder if I should just grab this guy and stick it right in the middle there, or close enough to the middle. Just sort of space them out a little bit more. Right, that one sort of won't be in the middle either. It's really annoying. I want to be right in the middle of that window, but off centered a little bit. Let's move that guy back to there. That should be the right spot for that table, I think. Perfect. One, two, three, four. And then we can have another one on this side. Probably need more than one on this side, but... Right, 
So I want to sort of line it up with the other side. Alright, beautiful. So that's five tables. That's enough for 20 seats. That should be pretty good. Um, shelves and stuff. We need that throughout the back. Let's go decorations. I don't really know. I didn't want that. I don't really know what we're going to sort of be able to have as far as medieval style. Like all these paintings, probably yes. Um, it is going to be a little bit hard to be medieval, but maybe we sort of just have it as um, it's like a building that we've it was medieval, but we've renovated, become more modern, more modern medieval, I suppose. Uh, guitar, football, and everything. Yeah, there's really not much in there. There's not much in here either that's sort of medieval. Right, that's that's it. Let's grab those guys. I don't know. I'll leave it up to you guys to suggest what we should do. Should we make it a purely medieval, or do we make it more modern medieval? Um, you know, it's up to you guys. I'll let you guys decide. So throw these on there, get a couple on the bar. Uh, or else we'll throw one like right there somewhere. Beautiful. Alright, so I think what I want to sort of do is chili and lemon. Chili, lemon, vanilla, cocoa. Okay, so chili, lemon, vanilla, cocoa. Chili, lemon, vanilla, cocoa. Yep, we've got those. So let's go with some beet, berry, cinnamon, coffee, stra strawberry, rose, mint, and ginger. I want to get um, all the flavours um, in. I also want to grab furniture. Shells. Yeah, I want to grab like four of those, I guess. I don't know if we do actually get any emails for competitions or anything, but good if we can still get some sort of competition going, even though we're, you know, playing in the open mode sort of thing. Um, Alright. Another cupboard. Right, cupboards all along here. And I think, like, I'd like shelves along there, but I'm not going to have that shelf. What more of those, those wire shelves? Uh, metal rack, yeah, let's go, like, three of those guys. We're running out of money for actual brews, so I want to get... I think each episode I want to drive, just new brews and, um... Sort of work out what works together, what doesn't work together, you know, that sort of thing. Right, so I want to get rid of that, let's get rid of all this out of there. So I can move that over. I don't know if I've got too many shit. Oh no, we've got enough. Perfect. Alright, there we go. So then we can look at throwing like all of our additives up here. Hopefully these guys stay on the shelves because they're so frustrating when they all, they all fall off. It's frustrating when it doesn't face the right way either. See, it's facing that way, but as soon as you put it down, it turns, which is that's why we need the shelves on this side, I think. All right, give me these lockers. Don't know if that's gonna make a difference. Hopefully, we can still see what we need to see from there. All right, so I think the racks can still go there. That one in there. Yes, just good. Right, let's try that again. So if we go... Yeah, it must be those shelves because it's... Just all wants to align this way, which is really weird. I'm going to go just three on each shelf, so we try not to... Get it all on top of each other. Right, strawberry... I'm not going to worry about the top shelf because it's an absolute pain to try and get it to. Uh, 
Uh, ginger, we can put our yeasts down here because there's not many yeast as you know. Uh, we can go with our hops, so cascades. Uh, citra. Amarillo. Simcoat Magnum. Perfect, so that's all those hops that we've got. Uh, supplies additions. We've got all the different colours we need. Do we have malts and stuff laying around? Yeah, we do. Okay, so let's grab the malts. Let's grab those. The pot, pretty much. Get rid of that because we're not going to need it. Uh, yeast, ale. Cascade hops. We've already got some of those. So let's stick one in front. Right, so what do we have? Dark mo malt, uh, amber malt, and light malt. We've got lactose are there, those guys are there. That can probably stay. Um, do we have any other? No, I've only got one of those, so. Have we got. Yeah, we've got the fridge. Okay, so this side can be. Probably our fermentation side. On that side. Uh oh. Uh, sell, yeah, okay, let's just get rid of those. Uh, hops, malts, let's grab one extra of these. We can put them back down. Now, I think if we go shelves, can we throw? Let's throw that in there, let's get rid of that. We can throw those there so they're still close by or close enough to where we need to be. Alright, then we need to go. Uh, fermentation bucket. I want two of those. Beer keg. Oh, I don't know. I'm just going to grab like ten. Not going to worry about these guys. We're going to need to grab at least six. Let's go nine. So we got ten of each. Yep, I think that's good. Let's go and grab that stuff. We'll bring that out. And then we need to look at brewing our first lot of beer, which, as I said, we're just going to go down the list. So it doesn't look too bad out the front. Uh, let me also go into here and go higher those two. I'm not going to worry about the food truck, dude. Um, I think of this. We've got this just here. Oh, we can throw malts on. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to sell both of those. So fermentation bucket. Beer keg, we don't really need just yet, so let's throw that back in. Fermentation bucket can go there. Right, we're gonna, actually, we are going to need a couple of smaller buckets because we're going to need to use the fridge, and these guys don't fit. Um, oh, we'll just throw this guy over here. I thought it lines up. If you, let's get rid of it. I don't even know why we have a metal bowl, to be honest. Right, done. There we go. Now we can look at our recipe. So we've got everything unlocked straight away. So we'll go American Pale Ale, 30 to 50 litres, pin the recipe. So both of these we're going to use. Um, light malt extract, which is five. So we need 10 each, two lots of, no, three lots of Cascade hops. 10 light malt extract. Some more Cascade hops. And yeast, 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 yeast beer ales we've got. Right, so order that. Now, if we look at our recipe, um, so we've got, that's, that's 10, 20, 30, 40. So I'm thinking we need 40 grams of each of these flavors uh, per one, so that's fine. I want to try something a little bit different with the flavours. Like, I don't want to do... I mean, we know that, um, for instance, it's, I think, cocoa and chilli works really well together. I've got um, cinnamon, vanilla. What was the other one that worked? Cinnamon, vanilla, 
strawberry, I think, worked well together as well. So we want to sort of just mix up the flavours and change things around a little bit. Right, so 32 litres of each. Done. Uh, 7.5 litres of light malt. So let's get those guys going. sell everything straight away. We don't get any money for it, but it's not in the way, obviously. 7.5 litres for you. Can we... we? can't move that lamp. Right, that's three. That'd be four and a half. Six. Can I click on that? No, I can't. That's good. So at least I know I can't sell that shelf accidentally. Out from underneath us. Uh, 60 grams of Cascade Hops. It's 50. About 50 for you. Uh, did I get another Cascade? I thought I did. Maybe not, so we're going to need some more Cascade Hops. Okay, so Hops. It's going to order three. We'll get them both on the boil. Shut, shut the damn door, would you? There you go. All right, so we need 10 grams in each, so we can put them both on the boil. So Cascade. 10. And... You on the boil. Get you on the boil. I want to throw that there for now because I want to put that at the front because it's got the least yeah, least amount in it. Hoping these don't go all over the place. Uh, 30 mil yeast ale beers. Yes, we've got both of those there. Need to brew for an hour. They're already brown, uh, bronze, so I'm thinking... Let's go, can we do like a strawberry? Strawberry chili recipe, maybe? Let's go, um, one of them will go, uh, we'll go a mint, a mint berry. Which, yeah, that's really weird. Uh, and chili. Chili and sour, chili lemon. Chili and ginger. That, yeah, let's do that one. We'll see how we go. Right, so you're off. You're off as well. Both 60 minutes. Let them cool down. And 30 grams of... 30 mils, 30 grams, whatever, of each. I think 30 mils, 30 grams should be the same thing anyway. Right, so one, two, three... One, two, get rid of you. Three. Throw that back in there. Uh, as I said, we'll go... 40 grams of ginger. 40 grams of chilli. I think it's still only bronze, though. This is going to be hard... Yes, it's still bronze, it's not even silver. Um, it's going to be hard to try and work things out. We need, really need three flavours. So, ginger, chilli. I don't know what else we can use. Ginger, chilli. This one's a mint berry. Cinnamon, I guess. Let's try that. Mint berry, cinnamon. That looks pretty good. Mint berry, cinnamon. Let me write that down. So we'll go mint. I don't know if they need to actually match like a certain flavor profile in the game to get um, like the gold. 
or not. I don't know if we just need to add three. So ginger, the chili, ginger. We go lemon, so it's a bit sour. Don't know, chili, ginger. Chili, ginger, and vanilla. I'm looking at the lemon. Let's just do lemon, whatever. No, that completely ruined it. Yep, yeah, so chili, ginger, and lemon doesn't work together. We'll shut it anyway. But let's go um, chili, ginger, lemon, and I'll put that on the list of no's. Then mint berry cinnamon did actually work, so that should be should be good once it's finished. Um, let's uh, connect these guys up. The keg has landed. Done. Uh, all right. So I do want to change these shelves as well. I really do. So this one, we we'll probably just we'll still sell it, but we'll scrap it. It won't be one that we keep. Yeah, these shelves. I don't. I'm not a fan of these shelves. Really need um, these two wooden racks. Not a fan of those bigger ones, because especially when we're going to put the bigger kegs, the bigger kegs need to go on top. So, all right, shut that down. I'm not sure what that's for. American black eye, American pale ale, but it doesn't tell me what that is. American Pale Ale. I don't know why we can just have unlimited American Pale Ale. That's sort of a little bit weird, but... Right, I want to grab you. going to sell that one. Just so we don't have an inventory. Why won't you let me put you down? We don't have an inventory full of crap, pretty much. Alright, metal rack. I think. Okay, I do want to keep this as well, but... Let's just stick it. God, the placement of this sometimes is really annoying. There we go, let's stick it there. Alright, let's open for our first day. 328 left still, which is good. I love the smell of beer in the morning. This is where I'd like, um... Keep dirtiness level under 50%. So we want it to be really dirty? Is that what you're saying? I choose strategy casual. Yeah, we still want to keep it casual. We want to keep it under 50%. That's really strange. Actually, let's look at... Um, we need some bar stools. Old school bar. Yeah, that's not, I'm not a fan. I think like three of these will be good. Obviously, we can't place them down now anyway, but... So, it looks like there's a lot of people heading in. Dragon's Breath Tavern. Still aliens coming in. Right, so what? I just want to see what she's... This guy needs. What do you want? American Parallel? Can we just go like this? But this is American Parlor, but it's only three dollars fifty. Okay. Give me any beer. Uh, American Parlor. Yeah, see, she's gonna use that a lot, which this is crappy beer. Right, we need a name for this. Um, I don't even know what they wanted. Black ale. Number one. I don't know why sometimes it, um, oh, we need to stop cleaning. Number one. Why did that go there? APA. Oh, we're all out. Uh, yeah, okay, let me fill it up with this one. Okay, what do you want? Well, you can just have that one, I don't care. Any beer, yep, you can have that one. Ah, ah. 
Of course. Right, so five star rating. If you hurry up. Yeah, you can have that beer straight away. All right, let's. We can still work on the glasses, I suppose, but we just don't want to be picking up the rubbish and try and keep it under fifty percent. And I know it really does it make a difference. I don't think so, but we only get twenty five bucks. But we'll just try and work through these challenges and see what sort of comes up after that. Right, so yeah, hopefully she'll serve. As I said, I'm still hoping that they allow us to be able to... Number zero. It's really annoying when it does that. I don't know if we take it off and put it back on and that makes a difference. Oh, we need one more mug. Hey, keep dirtiness level under 50%. What do you mean it failed? Well, I guess now I can go and clean up. Right, let's get that on. Let, let's start cleaning up. I don't want it being dirty. It's a bloody filthy restaurant. Or pub, even. Uh, alright. Keep an eye on. It's a food mess everywhere. What's up? What's up? <laughs> right, so the devs are still working on, you know, regular updates and stuff, which is, Jesus, really good. Uh, let's grab that. Right, we need to grab these glasses out of here. Black ale. I'm sure she can help you there. Right, so I don't know if you guys want to see, once again, a mixture of creating the brew, or brewing the beer, and then also serving, or just purely serving, purely just Making the beer. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Right, 94%. She's making a bloody mess up here again. How much is left in there? 3.38 litres. Well, at least it's good to know that we don't really have to have um, any beer on tap because we've already... That's just permanent. We could just make a dive bar and just never clean anything and still just make money out of nothing, really. Uh, this one, what are we going to call this? Um, mint berry. I don't know, like I want to sort of do medieval names, but I can't really think of anything. Of course. Thought maybe we could get some All right. dragon names or something and All right. try and do it that way. They're sort of, sort of hard to find. Of course. Oops. Smash the glass. Everyone's so bloody messy still. See, three more glasses. I've still got an hour and a half. Or it's just under two hours until we close. <laughs> yeah, we definitely need those. I don't know if I can actually... You can't place them now. Uh, what would you like? Number zero. Is that a zero? Because that's all we've got. What's up? Jesus. What's up? Aliens have come back. That'll do. Uh, another five from five, which is good. God, we've got people everywhere right now. I mean, I don't know what they want, but pretty much this is all they can have, so... Either take it or leave it. Alright, done. Let's keep tidying up. They go through the wall to sit down, so maybe I need to move the tables away from the wall, but then they're going to look funny if they're away from the wall. Of course. Right, 585, I don't know how much money we've made today, but... Probably not going to be accurate anyway because of the um, amount of money we spent. Spent probably nearly a thousand bucks. Straight up. 
couple of five and fives, that's good. 4.6, so we've got 20 at 20 plus 12, so we really need more more seeding by the looks of that. I don't, I don't really want to go outside. Too much seeding outside, because it's, it's hard enough keeping the inside bloody clean. Right, ten, ten, cust ten customers left. Where are all the bloody people? What are you waiting for? <laughs> Only I had wings. Do you have a customers to serve? I have, I have customers to serve. But people just want to eat. No one else is drinking, so let's get that going. Ooh, two or five's not good. I all up it. The beer I ordered was not my order. Fair enough. Can we clear all these? Yeah. Done. You get out of the way so I can get to that shelf. Alright, I think there's still one lady left. Or two people left. That's it. Don't just don't take your rubbish with you. Oh, and you too. That's fine. Absolute bloody pigs. Ah, mint berry and cinnamon. Right, get a maximum reputation level. Um, plus twenty percent. So other income six hundred. So seven fifty we made. Well, oh, that probably includes actually. Um, stuff we sold as well which doesn't count. Right, so American Pale Ale. It's good. Alright, let's go. Purple Haze. It's not really a dragon name now, is it? Don't know. Alright, so we want that one. So we want purple. Ribbon is it that one? That's black. Background. We've done that. Logo needs to be this one. I think that's right. I'm sure, that's the one that we did, wasn't it? Right, uh, purple haze RPA. Um, don't know what else we can sort of call it. I've got when it comes to names, I've got very very few. Oh, that's actually... It's gone gold as well. Uh, okay, let's go... Eternal Blame APA 674. We'll try and put that 698 as well. But Eternal Flame, we want that same logo. Ribbon, that one it goes black. Background is that, and it can go orange... Text is orange as well. Eternal Flame APA. Confirm. Confirm. So that looks like they're both. No, okay, so that's not. Well, they're both the same price. That's really. I thought they both came up then as like the good high quality. Yeah, see that one's definitely not the eternal flame one's not not a good brew at all. Right, let's connect. Can why can I not? There we go. What the hell? Can I? That'll do. What is going on with these cute tubes? Well, let me pick anything up now. Oh, oh, 85 mil. Actually, that's it. I can't pick anything up. God damn it. Alright, that's the tournament. Check on that. Um, why you take part in the brewing contest? The rules are simple. Brew your own beer and send the keg to us. The jury will rate all the beers based on their creativity. The best one wins. Okay, so we can do that. 
Have we got any little kegs left? I don't think so. Yeah, see, I can't even pick these up, drop them down or anything. Let's go. Because it's a main menu, we should auto-save. We're making, so we can put 5 mil in that and we can send that off to the competition. Hopefully it won't take too long to load. Right, let's go continue. World's most expensive beer is named the Antarctic Nail Ale. An 81815 per bottle. Wow. No, thank you. Alright, no explosions. If the stuff on the shelves, good. Now can I pick you up? Why don't let me put it in the inventory though, which is weird. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a beer. Alright, I'll sell both of them then. Um I said we're gonna need to go supplies, no tools. I need to get one of you, I'm gonna need to get let's just go five of these little kegs. Do you wanna send it off for another competition? Uh, Alright, up here, so Purple Haze and the Eternal Flame. I think they're both... Yeah, so that's the best one we've got, Purple Haze. Eternal Flame's not as good. We put five litres in there. Done. We can take this out and we can transfer that over to... Little Keg. Done. That can go. This is going to go out, and that's going to be our competition brew. All right, but we've got both of these. Let's go into beers. I want to get rid of that because that's not a five star. Um, I probably need to do like a couple of lists here of the stuff that we've got, um, so we know what's what. So under the gold, we're going to have purple haze. That's number one. So purple haze, EPA, and then I'm going to want to have another list of, you know, if we can get silver, and also a bronze. I don't mind if we get, you know, silver and bronzes and that sort of stuff, but we want to sort of try and keep track of what's what. All right, so definitely the purple haze is going to be good. The eternal flame's not that great, so I'm going to take that off that list so we can't actually order any more of it. Um, and then, yeah, next episode we'll look at going and doing some American Black Ale. So pin the recipe, we'll work out um, some more stuff like that. So this one, it's definitely got chocolate, so we're going to need chocolate and chilli in there. But chilli and ginger worked well together. I think that was going to be, was that silver or was that bronze? I think that was bronze, wasn't it? Um... Chili and ginger. So I'll write that down. You'd probably add chili and ginger to this chocolate one, and that may work. May get us across the line, but I'm not 100% sure. But right there, guys. Let me know if you enjoyed this episode, um, and if you're keen to see some more. If you guys um, are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's very pretty. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.